I am the greatest. Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy Alvarez, and I am back with some more Madden 17. Today, we have playoff edition base legend Frank Gore. He is a 95 overall, and he is rocking that battle ready and bruising back Kim. Flipping the card over, he is 5'9", 91 speed, 92 agility, 94 excel, 93 carrying, 94 ball carry vision, 80 elusiveness, 94 trucking, and an 89 juke move. Looking for some hidden stats, he does have a 78 strength, 68 catching. Uh, he has some pretty good pass blocking, 94 jumping, uh, 91 stiff arm, 90 spin move. Taking a look at Frank Gore's price, he was running about 250,000 coins, but he's probably a lot cheaper now that Team of the Year drops. I'm thinking around 200k, you can buy yourself one. Hopping into some highlights, I did play my normal three games with this Frank Gore, and he was pretty decent. Uh, I'm not a big Frank Gore fan in real life, I guess. I don't hate the guy. I think he's actually a really good football player in real life, but... Um, in this game, he's just not a popular name, and he actually played pretty good. Uh, I did buy mine when he was pretty much like brand new, when he just dropped, and he played pretty good. I played him with the uh, with the blitz challenges, so it was like you win four games, you get yourself a playoff player. And for some reason, no offense to anybody that plays it, but I just think the competition in there isn't really too heavy. Uh, you can see here we scored I think like three or four times against the same opponent, and uh, I'm not I'm not trying to put anything wrong against Frank Gore. I think Frank Gore played phenomenal. He did break a lot of tackles. Uh, he played a lot of ball, but for some reason like his uh when he broke tackles it was like 50 50 like I, I felt like my old line was definitely uh blocking pretty good and opening some big holes for him to hit and you pretty much had to have no user skill to not hit a hole that big you know what i mean so uh, besides that he, he played hard he fell for some yards 50 50 he broke tackles 50 50 you know um i think in one game i scored like four or five touchdowns with him but he played pretty good uh, he didn't fumble which is a huge uh plus for me it definitely like this card uh, I did end up getting rid of him there's just a lot more running backs coming out now that I want to try but I think Frank Gore is a good card and if you guys are looking for a balanced back he would be a great pickup for you guys going over some of the pros and cons of Frank Gore let's hop into the pros right away number one he has great carrying didn't fumble in the four games that I played with him which is awesome Number two is that he felt really smooth and quick, he felt real agile, so he was able to make quick cuts, a cut up field when I needed it to him. He has good chems, he does have bruising back and battle ready, and those are always some nice chems to work with, and he is a workhorse. Uh, I rarely changed him out and subbed him out, and he definitely played a lot of ball. Now hopping over to the con side of him, I didn't get really a lot of battle ready animations. Like I said, uh, I felt like my O-line was definitely opening a lot of holes and getting downfield and picking up some blockers. Uh, when it came to breaking tackles and falling forward, this Frank Gore was like 50-50. Sometimes he would do it, sometimes he wouldn't. I can't say that he always did. If I had to rate this Frank Gore on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, I'd give this card a 8.5 out of 10. The reason why I gave him an 8.5 out of 10 is because every con that I come up with, I knock off half a point. So he did get three cons and that's 1.5 out of 10. So he did get an 8.5. Now, if I had to recommend you guys picking this Frank Gore up, I would say give him a shot. I don't think he's like a flashy player. I don't think he's like crazy overall, like does spectacular things. Um, he played good ball. Like I said, he was a workhorse for me. I didn't have to sub him out much. I did try to feed him the ball a lot, obviously, for my player reviews so I can get some film of him. But he played pretty good. I can't say. I don't, I don't have anything wrong against this uh, Frank Gore. I think he's one of the better running backs that I have used in a while. Uh, he does have the ability to break a long run. So if you guys are looking for a running back that uh, has the ability to break big plays and be a workhorse on your team, I'd give this card a shot. But there it is, you guys, my player review on Playoff Edition, Frank Gore. Like I say in all my videos, guys, these are just my opinions, my advice, my suggestions, my experiences that I had with these cards. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. If you guys want to see anybody particular next, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. My druggy, love me when I'm ugly. Hug me when I'm bummy, scummy. I'm your hubby, let's get lost.